What I'm showing you here is the Open Air International Clinical Knowledge Manager CKM that contains all the international published and draft archetypes. You can think of archetypes as little information building blocks, like Lego pieces of data. Here is an example of the blood pressure archetype. You will instantly recognize the systolic and diastolic pr blood pressure. In addition to this, you can also see other associated information such as where the blood pressure was taken. So we essentially have a registry of both the data and what we would traditionally call metadata. The other supporting information is absolutely key for the future use of this data. Something as simple as a blood pressure can become very complex very quickly. Indeed, this archetype was worked on by over a hundred contributors internationally. Now, imagine if a programmer have to sit with an individual clinician to come up with all this. Here is another example of a archetype called the Diagnosis and Problem List Archetype. Getting this crucial piece of information right is essential to the exchange of this heavily used piece of information. Next, let's see how we can use these building blocks to bring together various data elements required to create a form. In OpenSB, this is called a template. The use case here is for an electronic form for healthcare assistants to fill in during an outpatient clinic using a mobile device. All I need to do here is to drag the individual building blocks onto the template. First, I choose the type of template, i.e. a patient encounter. I will then add the individual, individual components. Now, it would be crazy to expect a healthcare assistant to collect all the possible data points in every archetype, so we can switch off those data points that are not required for use in this case. I will just leave the systolic and diastolic and any other confounding factors such as a comment about patient anxiety levels. I repeat the same for other data points. Note that until this stage, everything that I have created is not tied to any particular vendor or indeed any underlying database technology. Shown here is a selection of all the different open air engines that can instantly use this template that we've just generated to create forms and to store and retrieve information. Open air is designed from its inception to be an open and freely available specification that is completely vendor independent. Indeed, it is also completely independent of any underlying database technology. It builds on the principle that data models, i.e. the very shape of digital clinical information, should be transparent, open to peer review and easily shared. These principles are core to the development of clinical knowledge that all clinicians are brought up with. What I am doing now is uploading the template that I have created to an open air engine. This is the same open air engine that is part of the Code for Health platform that is being endorsed by NHS England. Indeed, it is also the same engine that runs the EHR for the 12 million citizens of Moscow. I am now creating a form based on this template to allow a user to enter data into the database. Note that even without this form, the OpenAir engine can receive and store data based on this template. For example, this could be via an automated process or an integration engine that is entering data based on this template instead of an actual human being. Once I press save, the form is immediately ready for use by any application that works on top of this open air engine. This is one such application that sits on top of this engine. This is an application that was created to support an EU-funded project to build a registry of registries for the EU to enable cross-border comparison and analysis of healthcare data. An open-air-based solution was chosen. The application that you see was actually created in less than three weeks by a single developer. Let's search for a test patient called Mary Wilkinson. 
Down the left side of the screen here are previous forms and information that have been entered for her. Clicking here allows me to enter data into the form that I have just created. I'm going to enter some data now. Save it, and that's it. I'm now going to create another template, one for a pre-chemotherapy visit within a clinical trial. This trial also included the need to record the number of walking steps a day as recorded by the Apple Watch. At the moment, however, this Lego brick of data, or archetype, has not been created yet and will need to be generated. Here I'm creating an archetype to match that provided by Apple's health kit. This is now created and available to add to my clinical trial visit template. The template is once again uploaded to the open air engine and another form is generated. Let's put some information in using this new form for the same patient we used earlier. I'm now going to demonstrate how we pull information out of an open-air based system. This is done using a query language called AQL. This is very similar to SQL, however the core difference is that AQL is actually querying the data model and not the actual data schema within the database. I just need to double click the data elements that I require as shown here. The query will return all the data elements from the whole EHR that includes the ones for Mary Wilkinson that we entered as part of this demo. In the data returned, you can see all the information we requested and also the template that was used to enter it. The important thing here to note is that there are actually no patient demographics data stored within an open air based clinical data repository. This is actually part of the specifications. Each person is given a unique ID to match with identity data stored on a different system, such as a patient administration system. I can modify the query to restrict results to a particular unique ID. In this case, I know Mary's unique ID and I have added it to the query. Just like SQL, I can use a WHERE statement and only return results that matches a certain criteria like shown here for a systolic above 100 mm of mercury. The key thing to notice here is that OpenAir inherently understands the meaning of data across all settings, so it is able to find a blood pressure no matter where it was recorded and from whatever source using a single query. Similarly, this is true for any other pieces of information. This model-based querying is completely unique to open air and is the first of its kind in healthcare IT. What this means is that the same query can be written to different open air engines provided by completely different vendors using completely different database technologies to return the same piece of information. I can very easily export the results of the query as a CSV or JSON file as shown here.